Are you a builder or do you run a construction company? If you do, then I'm going to explain how to build your website and how to market your business online the right way. I've worked with thousands of businesses of all sizes, so whether you're a builder working on your own and you're looking for a few local customers, or maybe you're an ambitious construction company and you want to start landing a few bigger contracts, I'll show you how to build an online strategy on solid foundations. Here's what you'll learn. I'll explain the best web design tools to use. I'll show you how to get a fantastic website at a low cost. You'll understand how to structure your website and what type of content you should create. And finally, I'll show you how to market your construction business online the right way. Sound like a plan? Great. Let's get cracking. Hi, I'm Tony Messer, the founder of PickaWeb, the web hosting company that helps businesses get online, get found, and get more customers. First up, choosing the right tool for the job. Now, if you're considering building your own website, you might want to think twice about that. Why? Come on. If you go to visit a customer and they tell you they're thinking of building their own extension, what's your reaction? Building your own website can be a false economy. What are your prospective customers going to think if they look at your website and it's all over the place? Ooh. So my strong recommendation is to use a pre-made WordPress template. WordPress is the world's most popular web design tool. So it's like the industry standard. One in four of all websites are built using the WordPress platform. So it's as safe as houses. Next, get a low cost WordPress template. You can buy them from places like ThemeForest. Check the link below for more details. They cost about $50, but they look amazing on any device, desktop, laptop, tablet, or phone. Now you're going to need a developer to actually customize the template for you and there are companies that will do it for around £300. Again, check the link below the video for more details. Okay, so you've got a beautiful website. Great. Now you need people to visit you and find out more about your services. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to start creating the right type of content. And one of the big mistakes that I often see with construction companies is that they don't create enough service related content. For example, let's say you specialize in groundworks. You could just have a services page that lists all the services that you provide. That's a big mistake. Why? Because you're spreading yourself too thinly. You should be creating pages for all of the services that you offer. Groundworks, piling, underpinning, basement construction, or whatever. Then you need to make your pages long, at least 500 words. But Tony, I hate writing. Okay, I get that. But just imagine that you've got a potential customer in front of you. They've got a ton of questions. For every service that you offer, just get 10 questions for each service and answer them. Bang, you've got your content written. You've got all this stuff up here. You just need to convert it to out there. Okay, now we're making progress. Next, you need to optimize your website. And I'm the first to admit, this isn't something that a beginner should do. But I want you to understand it so that you can make an informed decision. If you want to learn more about this, then check out our free book, The Website Survival Kit. There's a link below the video. In it, we explain everything so that non-technical people will understand it. Basically, there are two things you need to do on-page optimization and off-page optimization. On-page optimization just means making your website Google friendly and doing things like inserting keywords into the code and the content of your website. It sounds complex, but every time you do a search in Google, you're actually looking at the keywords of a website. The important thing is to include the services that you offer and the locations that you cover. These go into some special code in your website called meta tags, as well as in other areas of your website, things like the URLs or page names, the headings and the internal links between the different pages. Again, this needs to be done by someone who knows what they're doing, so just check the links below to point you in the right direction. Next up is off-page optimization. And this is slightly more difficult because what you're trying to do here is to get other websites to link to yours so that Google notices you. But there are some quick wins. And unless you're in a really, really competitive field, then you don't need to go crazy getting loads and loads of links. First up, start off with Google My Business and Bing Places. Then start getting listed with reputable local listings like Yell or 118. Then set up your 
social media profiles like Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. If you're a member of a trade association, then get listed there. Also, check out and see if you can find reputable industry specific directories and get a listing in there too. Initially, that'll be enough to get you started. Longer term, you could create a blog and add content on a regular basis. Websites that have more content generally tend to perform better in Google. You could answer common questions, for example, or create content about projects that you're working on. Or maybe you could make short videos or take photos of projects that you're working on and just create content around that. You know, kind of before, during and after type content. Show the whole process end to end. This type of content works brilliantly in social media too, so you can build up a following of potential customers. So there you go, in a nutshell, if you're a builder or a construction business, just follow these tips for a successful online strategy for your business. If you like this video, please give it the big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below so you get notified when we have new videos for you. Also, share it with your friends or anyone who you know who's building a new website. If you've got any questions or comments, just leave them below. I really appreciate it. I do read them and I will get back to you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.